Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery and welcome to Obsessed with Flow Trial Swiping and in this case Keyhole Swiping. So I've been playing with paints and I mixed some some old fluorescent pink with some what is it? Liquitex pouring medium iridescent and also some vivid polypore and a little bit of um, <laughs> some mica powder that was really a cool purple color that I thought was going to be great and so eventually I came up with this trying to imitate the hot orchid and I can't get it quite but I'm close and I really want to just find out if I can get the right viscosity which just is a fancy word for thickness and for this particular swipe I'm really interested in just satisfying my own need to play right now. I'm going to connect the sides and I'm going to use colors I like and colors that I don't usually use. There is Iridescent Pearl Fine from Golden in both of that and, <laughs> and that red. I have some magenta. I have mixed up some folk art color shifting orange into some mica powder. It was gold. You can find it on my Amazon link. My Amazon link has lots of stuff on it and it is right below. I'm being called blue. It's right below the Linktree link. When you click show more you get my email address but the Linktree, if you click it, you get a whole lot of other stuff. Like a whole lot. My Amazon link also has my books on it. So I'm using Iridescent Pearl Fine because I finally bought a large container. Encouraged by other people's copious use of paint, I decided to give myself the privilege. I want to use some orange. Someday I'm going to put these down in wavy stripes. I might even tip this to do that. It's not impossible. I do have a Princeton Archel Catalyst spatula and an inclination to not waste any paint, so I'm just going to put it right in there right now. Now what else do I want? I kind of want some silver, but I don't have a ton of it. So let's just do that anyway, because it might be time to use it up. I've got a lot of bubbles in there. Definitely going to need to torch. Torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. Or you wind up with either popped bubbles that are little craters or bubbles that are not popped that are hardened. Let's get rid of those bubbles right now. Everywhere. I think I'm going to have some of this other orange I refer to as Velveeta. I found my special little, my, my lucky swipe card materialized and I was so happy to see it. Is this the same color? Some very similar. I think it's pretty much the same color, only one has iridescent pearl fine in it and the other one does not. So I am going to throw a little bit of the hot orchid in here just to see what the difference is. And it dries so pure and so bright and it's definitely a much darker, much more color saturated version. So I want some black in here. I'm not so sure about the silver in that shovel. I think I'm going to let that go and start again. And I think I'm going to give myself black. All the way across the bottom and maybe on the other side too, although I wanted some gold. So I better go back and get my gold. I think that's what's going to happen now. And I'll do something with that shovel in a moment. I'm still learning what works and I'm still experimenting to find out what works. And that's the only way I know of to do it, unless you're watching someone else, in which case that works too. I kind of want a gold. Sh I kind of want to fill that in and I probably will with a spatula. I'm going to use some Flow Troll 
to dip my swipe card into. This reminds me of the old days when I would use a cotton rag from a t-shirt hem and swipe with dampened water and I'm thinking about doing that again soon with the Floatrol but I'm not sure how it's going to work. It might work even better than the water did just because it's not going to all soak into the rag. The rag was only ever damp and it worked really well. So those are kind of nice, those colors. I think I'm going to be really smart, find the lid to my paint and put it on before I spill it because even though it's not as good as Hot Orchid from Color Art, it's still pretty good. So I've got a little bit of Floetrol and a dipping dish and I'm just going to dip. Dip my card, which happens to be the tag off some clothing, but you could cut packaging from anything. And I'm going to go down the first side. It occurs to me that I have a little dish that I like to use to knock my paint off in because it's often not ruined and very usable to touch up my edges. I'm going to wipe off my card on my damp studio rag. I'm going to try and skip. I'm going to go right down the middle. Skip before so I can go back the other direction if I want to do that. I'm not sure how this is going to go, but I know I like the colors that I have. So if I don't do anything to them, then it'll probably still be something I like. Yeah, I went all the way to the edge on that, which is not like the other side. Sometimes I'd like to take the lids from my cottage cheese containers that are staring at me under my timer right there and uh, use them to prop up my paintings. Probably would have been a good idea to do it, but it's kind of too late to do it now. All right, I'm going to try and leave those. Am I? Can I? Probably not. Just going to press that against the side. Now I've got another swipe card, and I think if I go the opposite direction it might be interesting. I also think I've got this black, and because I've got it I'm going to use it. And it I'm going to shift the paint so it's flowing all the way across the edge as best I can. I'm beginning to get some cells. I'm thinking I really want to use some black paint, but I don't want to do it in the huge one. Maybe I'll just do it in the small one and scrape. And scrape. No flow troll in this, just just a little black paint. That is cut from something that covered a pen probably and then just cut down until it made a little tool. You could probably just use a little tiny sheet of acetate and it would be fine. Okay, so it's time for me to decide to go back and go from the other direction. I'm nervous. I'm still nervous. Ah. Okay, I'm doing the big card. And if I want to change what's in between, I'll use a basting brush because that works really well for me. I like it. most important thing for me in this one is that I have the colors that I like. And I do like the colors. But I've decided that if I do these swipes, I can always add another color. So I'm going to grab the basting brush now and think about what I might want to put up there. And it's called, I'm being called the yellow. And I like that fine. I'm getting more than I bargained for. But that's okay, because I like it still. I'm going to go from this direction, but I'm going to use the 
black that's on my tile to fill in those little gaps. I can always fix my edge later, but I can always fix my side later, but I want to fix my edge now. All right, so here goes nothing. I really want some black up there. I'm gonna use the residuals. Not worry about wiping it off. I'm tempted to take that yellow dot make it disappear and I can so it's not symmetrical and that's gonna have to be okay I'm gonna go from the opposite side because I never have done both directions to see how that worked I kind of destroyed some of the continuity of that design but it also helped fill in the gaps Now I have to decide what else I'm doing. And I kind of think I'm going to do something with the black paint that I've got still. What is it, though? <laughs> uh, I think it's going to be weird. I don't need to use my shovel, but since I've got paint in my shovel anyway, I'm going to do it. That's kind of different. That's even more different. And I'm just going to go back to playing. Because I can. So that's really different. <laughs> Not sure how I feel about that yet. What did I do with my basting brush? Ah, uh, there it is. Got it. Okay, so here goes nothing again. I'm just going to do all of it. Even more because I want to than because I can. I love how the cells stay behind. That was kind of crooked. Fortunately, I think I can go back again. Yeah, there we go. So that's kind of neat. I really miss the white. I like the white so much. If I keep going, I'm going to have a problem. And that's kind of nice. I say that, but you can't trust me. I will almost always do what I want. Just the tips. This modified basic brush has all of the, look, the rows except for one removed, and then every other bristle is removed in between. So that's that's kind of cool. I'm okay with that. What, do I, what else do I want to do with it, though? Um, there's a good question. I kind of want to do something. I'm not sure why I have to, why I feel I have to do something, but a little spoon. Whoops. I don't even know how this paint will react or pigment more likely since it had some paint. Yeah, I'm getting messy. Oh well. I really wanted some bigger cells, but I have some really nice cells where I've got them. So, the question is, what do I want to do? The answer is usually something. The shovel's a pain. I'm going <laughs> to use my bottle. Even if it's just to go down over the edge, but... 
can definitely just pull a little bit of that black right up over and get a, a more intensified black effect, which I kind of like. And then I can diffuse the pink because I think it's going to diffuse anyway. Those white spots are bugging me, I have to say. Yeah, I think I'm going to like the yellow a lot. And even though they're not the same, I could put them all the way across and it might be better for the pattern. I guess we'll see together in a minute. Kind of like that, actually. The temptation is to go both directions, but I think I would be smarter to just stick with one for right now. So that's cool, and I am not done. If I can keep in a straight line, that'd be really awesome. That might be the tricky part for people. A level straight line. I really don't want to jinx myself. Good, I'm almost done and I have three minutes to tell you guys. I do sell my artwork and my email address is below the link tree underneath the video. And I am gonna grab some more of that hot orchid as soon as I lay my eyes on it, yes. Yep, missed my, <laughs> missed it. All right, well, luckily you can stick your finger in most dots and remove them. So I love you guys. There's over 91,000 of you. If you're looking for more videos, I've got 1,700. And they're organized by the 100 and on playlists. You go to all playlists and creative playlists. You can find them. If you guys have questions, feel free to ask me. What do I do with that? That's not making me happy anymore. Maybe just change it a little bit. It's one of those moments I feel like tipping. It's still kind of cool. There was a lot of experimenting in there. So what else? I, I want to say thank you for all the contributions that have helped keep me painting. Yeah, I might be messing it up right now. Or not. You can never tell. I'm going to keep using my basting brush though because I'm liking the effects of it. Probably could have drawn just a line and it would have had the same effect without having to add the dots. So next time I'll do that. There, I've got some white. I'm liking that all a lot better than I did. And it's ready to be torched. And thank you for the wonderful comments you leave me all the time. Thank you for the donations that have helped keep me painting all this time. If you want to be entered in the monthly drawing, check the end screen video, the exhibition video of on every, every one of my videos shares with you what the monthly drawing prizes are and should you use PayPal or Patreon or talk to me about another way of making a donation, uh, you will be automatically entered in the monthly drawing. So I have underneath the link tree is Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Sachi Art, my website. And uh, links are getting strange at YouTube. I'm not sure what's going to happen. It's going to tell you that you're navigating away from YouTube, I think, from what I heard in the studio creator this morning when I was doing my homework. Anyway, so that's pretty cool. And any little dots in the background I can fill in with the tip of a spatula. I could stick my finger into, but it might change things more than I want. But I can definitely use a spatula anywhere I need to. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Ask me questions if you want. Look for my paint pouring recipe underneath show more under the video on my community board on my youtube channel you will find tomorrow's video on my youtube channel 
banner in the bottom right corner, you're going to find PayPal and Patreon icons. On my Amazon link, underneath the link tree, you'll find my book.